Hi there, this video is going to go over a couple examples of how to do front end estimation for sums and differences. Now this method doesn't involve rounding and it's used specifically when you have the same number of digits in each number. So let's take a look at this example. If I look at the ten thousands digits, I have a four and a one. So I am going to just add forty thousand and ten thousand. Notice that I just used the leading digit, the 4 and the 1, and I made all the other digits 0. So when I added 40,000 and 10,000, I get 50,000. Now we're going to make an adjustment so that I can get that a little more accurate, and the way that we do that is we look at the second digit. In this case, it would be a 2 and an 8. When I add the 2,000 and the 8,000, which is represented by these two digits, I get 10,000. So for my final answer, I'm going to add the 50,000 and the 10,000. So you see my final answer then would be 50,000 plus 10,000, which is 60,000. Now let's take a look at a subtraction problem. Let's look at a subtraction problem. Here I've got 9,387 minus 4,123. Again, what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the leading digit and make all the other digits zero. I have 9,000 minus 4,000 is 5,000. Now I can make that more accurate if I take a look at the next digit, which in this case is the hundreds. I've got 300 and 100, so I'm going to subtract 300 minus 100. When I subtract 300 minus 100, I get 200, which means my original estimate is a little bit low. So what I'm going to do is add the 5,000 and the 200 for my final answer. So my final answer is 5,200. So again, what we do is we subtract the thousands and we get 5,000. Then we subtract the next place, which is the hundreds, and I get 200. I'm going to add those two together for my final answer. I want to look at one more problem because this is a little bit different. It's subtraction, but we're going to find something different happens when I look at my second digits. So let's start with what we did before. I'm going to look at the thousands, make the rest of the digits zero, so I'm actually going to subtract 5,000 minus 2,000. Here I've got my 5,000 minus 2,000 equals 3,000, which is a pretty good estimate, but I'm going to take a look at the second digit, which is a 3 and an 8. So let's see what that looks like. Alright, now this is different because I have 300 minus 800 which is a negative 500. But I'm going to do the same thing. Whatever I get when I subtract the second digits, I'm going to add to my original estimate so that my estimate is more accurate. So for my final answer, I'm going to take my 3000, I'm going to add my negative 500, and I'm going to get 2500. Now you can consider this as plus a negative or you can think of it as 3,000 minus 500. But either way, your final answer is 2,500. 